First and foremost, Susan is out of town. She's been in Switzerland with my 95 year old grandmother. She's sending me videos of her walking through a vineyard like a crazy person. Can't wait for that wine. The grapes are so sweet, wine emoji. Then she sends me another one, more grapes. Lol, I just love this place. Sending me more walking through the vineyard. And she's sending these to Jordan as well. Like you cannot be sending things to him without notifying me. Sends them to him too. He likes it, but I don't tell her that. Then she sends me a picture and writes, how cute. I unfortunately thought that they were cows. And I said, little cows are cute. She goes, they are goats, Morgan. Why is Siri always interrupting my necessary realness? Today on Necessary Realness, we are talking about celebrities that are dating civilians or people who are not in the same industry, which I find fascinating. Here's what I think about that in general. I think that a celebrity is more than capable of dating a person who is not in their same industry as long as they have their own going on. They are as equally motivated and successful because famous people, all they want to do is either stay famous or become more famous. Cannot be with somebody that is just living in your Hollywood Hills home and like making you feel like they're this like grounded person because they make celery juice every day. So Zac Efron is dating another Vanessa. I know a lot of people have had opinions about this. I mean, he met her in June while she was a waitress in Australia. She is giving all of us girls hope. I mean, the fact that she was working at a restaurant, she came into contact with Zach. He fell for her because I can't imagine they exchanged that many words to each other and was literally like, you're so f breathtaking and cool. Like move into my like Australian rental home. Like, listen, that's some hopeful. Sh you might be able to meet your, you know, high school crush and move in with him. And hopefully Zach and Vanessa go the long haul. That's what I'm hoping for. Katie Holmes is dating Emilio Vitolo, who is a chef at his father's restaurant. This is sort of like a legacy family in the restaurant business. Katie seems smitten as a kitten. Let me tell you, she allegedly, we have to say allegedly, was with Jamie Foxx for six years. We saw them together two times in six years, two times. It was like barely even known now if they like fully were together, which they fully were like together, we know. I mean, there are legitimate pictures of her like holding this man's hand, making out, with him, like doing all the things with him. I think that this is actually a couple that could go the long haul. He's successful. He's got his own stuff going on. He has a passion. He's good at something. I like Katie Holmes. I think she's low key kind of a style icon. I just want to say that. We obviously have to talk about Britney Spears and her boyfriend, Sam. They've been together now for like four years. They first met in 2016 on the set of her slumber party video, I believe. I have to say, I have met him a few times. He's come on Daily Pop and he's extremely lovely and extremely charismatic. And I kind of like that they've gone the distance. He defends her in the right way. He seems to be there for the right reasons and he really seems to love her. So I'm happy. Obviously, as like a Britney fan, I want her to be as happy as she possibly can be. And I feel like those days dancing videos and that man make her happy and I'm all for it. Next, we have to talk about J-Law dating, now married to Cook Maroney. Cook Maroney for me is not somebody that I would really consider to be like a normal person. Like he's an art gallerist. He was on the New York scene before, like in terms of the art scene, he was definitely somebody who's bright and sophisticated and knows about some cool so he obviously kind of mingled within the same circles. It might not be a celebrity circle per se, but like he was around some cool people. Art people in New York are cool. He's cool by nature. J-Law's the coolest chick in the world. I love them together. I think that they are one hot couple. I want them to just have all the babies soon. I feel like everyone else is. I mean, I feel like, what are they waiting for? I have to say, oh, I'm kind of a fangirl about this couple. I do like them and I do feel like they make sense. I'm gonna Google his birthday. That's creepy. Can't believe that's on camera. Oh, okay, so he's a cancer and she is a Leo. Okay. That's, she's got to tread lightly. He's a sensitive Sally, let me tell you. And she is a lion. And let me tell you, you got to, you got to balance out your temper and your mood. Because if there's a lion, you can't eat the crab. Is that a saying I just made up or what? There is a brand new episode of Necessary Realness every Saturday. So make sure you what? Subscribe subscribe, okay? Did I say subscribe? Don't forget to do that, subscribe. And make sure you check out all of the other videos on the E! News YouTube channel because they are all fabulous.